Okay, so tell me what's the next step for this barn? about last time that would be phase two would be to come in and begin the construction on the three stalls and the adjacent caregiver area on that and that's the west end over there okay and so that's going to be phase two once we get started on that how long do you think that will take to complete i would guess three to four months okay and so what do we need uh, how much money do we need to have to start phase two? Uh, well, you kind of you, you, you caught me there, so I'm going to give you an educated answer based on what we had discussed back the last time. We've got to excavate these stalls down four feet, bring in the proper sand, put in our geotextile fabrics and our percolation floor. So that we can percolate the wastewater, urine, etc., out of these stall areas. And then we're going to have to come back and begin to form our footers and our wall foundations. If you remember, all of those walls are going to be 12 inches thick and they're going to be 12 feet tall around the perimeter. Our steel stall doors have got to get fabricated with the rolling hardware and everything else that goes with those. We've got to fabricate uh, the heavy steel stall structures on the inside get those footers poured. Um, from a monetary standpoint, uh, I think we probably are going to be to get started or to finish. Um, we're we're going to spend some money. We're going to spend two hundred plus thousand dollars to get this completed. Uh, if I remember correctly, it back in the fall when we priced this and put it together, it was about two thirty if I'm not mistaken. Um, we'll see some changes in the steel prices with our current administration and the tariff situation we are in. We've seen steel increase about 35% since the end of January. So uh, we'll need to revisit that and get you, a, get you a good number you can work with.